In this tutorial, you will learn how to add text to an image in Photoshop. First of all, click on the text tool present on the toolbar. This is represented by the uppercase T in the toolbar. Once done, move down to the two squares at the bottom of the toolbar. Click on the top square and choose a color for your text from the color palette that appears. In this case, it's 262626. Now we will move on to the dialog box appearing towards the right side of the screen. Here, you can select the font and its size. We will be selecting impact for the font, keeping its size at 100 point. Now we'll type the text on the image. You can also reduce the text spacing from the dialog box. Here, we will keep that to minus 50. At any time, in the text editing mode, if you want to move around the text, press the control key and click on the text. Now you can drag the text around the canvas. Alternatively, you can pick up the move tool. This will allow you to exit from the text editing mode. Now you can easily move around the text layer. Once we are done with the text, now it's time to add effects to the image. What we've done in this tutorial is added the bevel and emboss effect to the layer style, changed the blend mode of the layer to overlay, applied contour to the bevel effect, and tilted the text layer a bit. Press the text tool and a menu will appear. Here you can select the vertical type tool, which allows you to input text vertically across the canvas. You have two more options in the menu, which have to do with the type mask tool. You have the horizontal type mask tool and the vertical type mask tool. For this tutorial, we will be selecting the horizontal type mask tool. Once selected, Photoshop takes you to the quick mask mode. What we've done is used the horizontal type mask tool to type the text on the white area, that is, the background of the image. Now, when we exit from the quick mask mode, this will automatically load the selection. Now we'll copy and paste the selection from the background layer onto a new layer, move it on top, and change the layer style and blend mode according to the image. Similarly, you can continue on adding text and effects to the image until you feel it's complete.